my name is Mel. Um, I'm a local resident here. I've got a small business called Kindred Mill. We specialise in bespoke hampers and personalised gifts for um, children, adults and what have you. Um, so what do I think that the community needs for business support? So in my opinion, I think that we need help with like marketing, help with starting a business, help with being able to get it out into the community and connecting with the local residents and other people in our area. And I think it's especially important for the young people, um, such as the teenagers coming up, some sort of like course or training to help them with entrepreneurship. Hi, um, my name's Ocean, I'm 18. Um, I live around the corner from here. Um, yeah, today was a good day. Um, I'd say in terms of moving forward, I'd say, um, yeah, obviously the, lo the lockdown pandemic was like last year. So I know there's a rise in like suicide rates and depression and people. So I feel like maybe having like open um, like sessions where people can talk, relate to people would be good, like focus groups. Um, in terms of the youths, um, well, yeah, it's been a problem for a long time, but I say they could definitely do more in terms of like, I don't know, getting the kids off the streets and like direct them in a good way academically as well. And I also say that there's a big homelessness problem as well, like my mum said earlier. So you guys could do more in terms of getting people off the streets and into em employment as well. And um, yeah, that's what I've got to say really. But there's definitely been improvement in Edmonton after a while, long time, I can say that. So, um, yeah. I think they need to put a bit more um, educational activities for the children. So children stay out of trouble, especially these teenagers these days. Um, and also a bit more community, like getting together. Because you don't see that a lot. Are people being serious? That is a door. That is a fully, that is a fully great door. OMG, look at that pile of glass. Just, just look at that. I will make the area more safe for the, so that um, it will be more easier for people and if people are being like doing naughty things children will learn that and they will start doing it i want to stop the amount of teenagers especially girls who feel unsafe and walking around here which is mainly because of the drug addict and alco alcoholism who and um, alcoholics who are anti-social and sick on the streets uh what made you go for a course like this um, like I said, we did lots of consultation on the estate uh, with regards to what people wanted Kirkup Millie to spend the money on, um, and youth came out on top every time. So there's, you know, there's no youth club, there's no youth facilities, there's nothing for young people to do. Um, I know Create Film Workshop has worked with other big locals, and so obviously when Tim got in touch, I thought it was a really good project to put in front of the partnership. What do you think the kids got out of it watching it? So obviously by taking part in it, they've got. Some really, really good skills. Um, they've learned how to do the TikToks. They've um, learned how to edit, to put special effects in, voiceovers, music. They've done some really, really good stuff.
What was your experience living in that RV? Um, it's been good. Um, because we've made lots of friends. How long have you lived in North RV and who have you lived with? Six years. I've lived with my mum, dad, my three brothers and my little sister. The horrible thing about Middlesbrough is that people smash up other people's houses, such as teenagers, which really makes me kind of mad for the people who have lost their homes. The tyres are for like, if you like, if you want to do some plants and you don't have enough money for like, plant pots, just get some tyres and like, then they'll made them into like, plant pots. Like, I'll say, I'll say this one, they've done plants in this one too. They're, they're trying to build a plant in that one. So this one, it's not fully painted, but there's two over there with plants in it. It's like just there and they're like colourful. I think they wanted to make it colourful so it will like, when you do summer, like when the thing goes to summer, like the plants will grow more. So the only reason the tires are there are for plants.